So, the problem with uh, being single and looking to marry, I'm sorry, let me correct this. Um, being single and Christian and looking to marry is that you think about sex. And for passionate people, right, um, not going into particular details, but for passionate people, um, you know, once again, like this is similar to the last video I did, except I was very, I was very, I was like, uh, this is so uncomfortable. And quite frankly, I'm still like, yeah, but it's okay to be passionate. Um, you know, of course, in, in your walk and in your daily life, it's not good to have your mind on the flesh, uh, not have your mind, you know, on, on things that can cause you pain. You know, we know that in this Christian walk that there are things that we ought not to think about because these things cause you know, uh, stress, you know, trouble, struggle. And it is through us struggling through our old man and our old mind that we, you know, see the light of Christ, see the light of the gospel and are transformed by doing something different than what we used to do. Yeah. When you are... <sighs> I'm trying to say it in a in a proper way. Not every saint is you know sexual in that in that way, right? Um, for some people, sex is not that big a deal. Um, but there are others who are more passionate, right? Where the physical intimacy of the relationship is weighted, weighted differently, and is viewed differently uh, for another person. But, you know, the problem, you know, one of the issues that can come up is, you know, condemnation for that. And that condemnation, you know, causing trouble because you literally, you know, think of lovemaking in a different way than somebody else. And because because of that, you know, and perhaps like me, you've had a past of hypersexuality, you had a past of, you know, uh, just, you know, pornography and all this sort of stuff. And because of that past, you know, it, it sort of... Uh, informs your sexuality a bit early and you know this this is what you know causes the imaginations to go and and that's you know that's the so that's the trouble that's sort of the trouble of it right but it's okay to be passionate um there the purpose of marriage is so that man would not be alone and there is a companionship and a friendship and a relationship that marriage provides that is sacred, that is beautiful, and that is fully intended by God to be, at, you know, that level of companionship, that physical intimacy. It's it's there for that reason. Um, and then Paul in Corinthians, he lays out like, hey, OK, look, y'all. This is why y'all supposed to get married, because if y'all don't get married, you end up screwing everybody and you end up screwing your mother-in-law and all this stuff. You know, no, 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 no. Get married. <laughs> get married. You know what I'm saying? And th that's that's the purpose of it. I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm definitely speaking for myself here, but, you know, for anyone else that, you know, it has been wired that way it's it's so crazy because you know i know for a fact that 
you know, j- just for my life. I know for a fact that 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 side of me, that part of me, God is going to use. You know, it's not a shameful thing. It's not a, you know, uh, a thing to hate. Don't don't hate that part of you. Don't hate the passionate part of you. Okay. Don't don't hate that part because you know that's that is a special place and a special thing that you share with your wife or your husband. And because I know, you know, there's no, you know, God God doesn't view that as a bad thing. But the, you know, struggles that I may have, the struggles that you may have, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't allow, you know, the the, the issue is the fantasy, right? You know, I, I said this in my last video, the fantasy, you know, sort of, that, that's what puts you in dark places. That's what puts you in a place where, all right, now you need to call on the Lord. Now you need to repent. Now you need to bind and loose. And now you need to do all these things. When it is honestly your sincere desire to, one, have a spouse, and to, two, please your spouse. You know? And there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to be passionate. There's nothing wrong with that part. It's the, you know, uh, the t- right, the timing of it, because you know it's not time yet for you to enter that stage of life. You know that's that's one thing the Lord did tell me. That's a stage of life. You know when you're ready to, you know, get married. Well, you're ready to, you know, court. You know, proper dating. You know, a couple months. You know, however, however you take, uh, and you know you're you're ready to get married. You know that's a, that's another stage of life. You know, then the dynamic shifts when you have children and, you know, all this sort of stuff. That's that's another stage of life. And you can't rush God's process in that. And me personally, I don't want to. I, I really don't want to. I'm at, a, I'm at a place in life where God is fulfilling his promises to me and fulfilling the prophecies over my life. And I'm, I'm seeing breakthroughs and I'm seeing understandings and revelations that I didn't see before. So because of that. I'm good. I'm really good. But, you know, I know that, you know, once again, this whole lust and romance thing is, man, it's a real thing. Um, it's, and it's a real, and it's sort of like, you know, uh, Paul said, you know, I'd rather you marry than burn. <laughs> but uh, me personally, once again, this, this is me personally, I'm not really. Um, you know, looking to rush anything. Um, I'm just focused on, you know, what I need to do in the moment and enjoying God in the moment, enjoying my life in the moment and, you know, getting, you know, having to get regrounded in, you know, where I'm at now and what I need to do now for later. And, you know, just enjoying that, you know, no, no, no rush to get old. Mm, Mama used to say, (laughs) You know, so um, I, this is for me. This is for, you know, anybody. Um, you know, you, you're going to have to deal with your pain and you're going to have to deal with whatever struggle it is. Um, but it's OK to be passionate. It's OK. It's it's all right. But, um, you know, keep that flesh on the cross. Um, get back. Get back. You know, get back to where you're supposed to be. Give God the praise. And, yeah, just want to share that.